Understanding the idiom, bleed someone dry. Hello, and welcome to today's English language learning video. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of idioms, particularly focusing on the phrase, bleed someone dry. Idioms are a crucial part of mastering any language, adding color and depth to our conversations. So, let's explore what this phrase means and how you can use it effectively in your daily English communication. At first glance, bleed someone dry might sound a bit alarming, but don't worry, it's not as scary as it seems. This idiom is used metaphorically and has nothing to do with actual bleeding. To bleed someone dry means to take all or most of someone's money or resources, often in a way that is unfair or dishonest. It's typically used in situations where one person or entity is exploiting another financially. Understanding the origins of an idiom can often help us remember its meaning and use it correctly. The phrase, bleed someone dry, likely comes from the old practice of bloodletting, a medical procedure used for centuries. In this context, the idea is that just as too much bloodletting could weaken or even kill a person, financially draining someone can leave them similarly depleted. Let's look at some examples of how this idiom might be used in everyday conversation. 1. I can't afford to go on vacation this year. The medical bills have bled me dry. 2. Be careful with that investment firm. They have a reputation for bleeding their clients dry. These examples show how the phrase can be used to express financial hardship caused by external factors or entities. To expand your vocabulary, here are some synonyms and variations of the phrase. Drain someone financially. Milk someone for all they're worth. Financially exploit someone. Each of these phrases carries a similar meaning but can be used in slightly different contexts. And that's a wrap on our exploration of the idiom, bleed someone dry. Remember, idioms are a key part of sounding natural in English, and understanding them can really enhance your fluency. We hope this video has been informative and helps you feel more confident in using this phrase in your own conversations. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing your English skills.